All right, it is now time to get dressed. Let's turn the lamp on. Oh, we also need to turn the lamp on because the light, there we go. I've got a lamp that I have to turn on. So the light, <laughs> oh, my ceiling. Oh, you can see me. The light on my ceiling right here. It, um, it was like a work lamp. It was very unattractive, but it, um, it just ran out of, ran out of, what do you call it? Light bulb juice? I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, it's gone. So now I have this, I'm getting someone to come out in the next couple of months. And they're one of the things they're going to do for me amongst a huge laundry list of things is install a brand new light for me. Let's pick out the outfit. We're looking at, oh, don't mind my dresses. What should we do today? This one's a little too summery. Um, it's not freezing cold anymore. I mean, I could. Honestly, I'm really tempted to wear like a sweatshirt today <laughs> and be like super casual. You think I really want to wear them? Mm -hmm. mm. The sweatshirts. All right, so this is what I'm thinking today. I'll just wear normal white t-shirt with sweatshirt on top. I just really want to be comfortable today. <laughs> it's like 50 something degrees out, so it's really not cold, but this is a really old sweatshirt. This was my grandmother's a long time ago. It's a toss up between these pants. So these are like incredibly comfortable, elastic waist pants. They give a very like, I don't know, a very old fashioned vibe to them. Um, these also very comfortable. They're drawstring. I believe I got these from Ann Taylor Loft. They're super comfortable. Nice like taper, tapered leg. I really like them. They're kind of like a, a checkered black and gray. So they go with everything. I wear them to work a lot. <laughs> they have like pockets in them. I adore them. <laughs> hey guys. So I don't know if I'm loving the hair yet. <laughs> I'm really particular about my hair. I think from being a redhead my whole life, like everything has been about my hair. Like I can't, I can't not be noticed. Um, and so, which, you know, you think would be great, except I have never seen, I've never heard of any of my brunette friends or even blonde friends having people come up to them and touch their hair and or asked to touch their hair or <laughs> having um i don't know random people just tell you like don't dye your hair and you're like first of all not your business like um yeah i was like eight or nine and i had someone tell me not to dye my hair ever and i was like what <laughs> because an eight or nine year old is not thinking about dyeing their hair not a lot of them at least <laughs> so anyways I've got my coffee today. I got some iced coffee. It's counterculture. Um, I think it's called Big Trouble. I iced it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. I put um, vanilla collagen creamer in it and cinnamon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cinnamon's my favorite. My favorite spice. So anyways, I decided this week to not do a type three video because I have I'm trying so hard to do a lot of things after work. So just to back up a little bit, I've been in school for a long time. I was in school for a long time. I graduated with my, mas my master's, my bachelor's when I was 22. Uh, two years later, I started a master's degree and I was working full time while doing that. And so it took me about three and a half years to finish my master's and like uh, just in that time, I got really good at like time management. I do think that's one of my strengths now because I had to learn it to get past 
you know, being exhausted after an eight hour work day and then coming home. And I mean, I was either doing homework or I was going to class and I was driving like 30 minutes there and then I had to walk another 15 minutes and I was just tired. Like I became um, a Starbucks fan during that time because I would go get coffee there every single time I went to class. And so anyways, I became really good at time management. And then after my, after getting my master's, I took almost a year where I was just working. And then I went back and I got certified to teach. So that means I, I went through an alternative certification. I, my master's and my bachelor's are not in education or anything education related. So I basically went, I spent two years doing this alternative certification where basically I was going to classes for teaching and I had to do all these things for teaching while I was teaching. So I got my master's a year later, I started this program and I started teaching. Um, and that's kind of why I've mentioned in past a past video that my first year teaching was just awful because I literally didn't know what I was doing. I was coming home after like a 10 to 12 hour work day um, because I had so much to do. And then when I got home, I was doing homework or I was going to class for like three hours because again, they were trying to like mash all of this, like, I don't know, all these things that you need to be a teacher and all these classes, they were trying to mash it all together. And so they did like, it was one class at a time, but it was like one right after the other. You were having, I mean, three hour classes once a week and then so much homework um, just to get all the content in. So it was really hard, <laughs> but saying all of that, I said all of that because um, this year is actually the first year that I'm done with teacher certification and I'm done with um, an ESOL endorsement, which means I can, um, I know skills and strategies to teach speakers of other languages. This is the first school year where I have not had homework to do and it's been fantastic. And that's when, you know, Enneagram Fox has really taken off for me and I've been able to grow with it and discover new things that I want to do because I've had the time to do it and I really enjoy it. Um, however, these past few weeks, I've noticed that I've had a lot to do at work, which isn't a bad thing. Um, it happens and it goes in waves. Like there's times where I don't have a whole lot to do and I can leave like pretty soon after my contracted time. But this past week has not been like that. Throughout my weeks, I always have a to-do list because again, I'm really good at time management now and there's all these things that I would just like to do. And so I've kind of tried to make it into like a game that I play every week. Like, let me see how many I can get done. However, I ended up doing them all on Saturdays. I literally could not get them done. And I had, I mean, like several hours worth of to-do list items to do today. And so Friday night, I told myself I am not filming a type three video this week. I'm gonna do what I used to do all the time when I was in school, which was I would work incredibly hard throughout the week. And then um, Saturday morning, I would basically just do things that I really enjoyed and I had no to-do list. I would sleep in, I would go to the gym, I would take a really like good, hot, long shower. I would put on an outfit that I really enjoyed. I would do my hair. I didn't always do my makeup. I'm not really a huge makeup fan. Um, like even right now, I feel like I have like too much blush on. I don't really like it. Um, and I would like go to a new coffee shop and um, hang out and read. And I would go to Target and like buy a new shirt. Like I would just do things that I liked doing. And I haven't really been doing that. So today I've just decided that I'm gonna do those things again. I've already, I've already worked out. Um, I took a really nice walk this morning, which is one of my favorite things to do. It's like still kind of cool out and it rained yesterday, like a lot, like thunderstormed. 
So it was like in the 50s this morning, like 52, 51-ish. And then I came home and I did a shoulder workout and I did a glute workout. I really like working out. It's not like work for me. It's like enjoyable. Also, I wasn't feeling great this past week, so I didn't work out at all. I haven't worked out in almost a week. So I did those things. Um, I made my iced coffee. I took a really good shower. I washed my hair. I put on a comfortable outfit that I really enjoy. And then I've been reading also. Um, I got a Kindle that I'm obsessed with and um, I've had it for a few months. I absolutely love it. I'm reading um, the, Handmaid, the Handmaid's Tale and I believe it's by Margaret Atwood. I could be totally wrong, but I think it's by her. That's the hard thing about Kindles is like when you're reading it, like you don't know what the cover looks like. <laughs> you don't see the author's name. Like you just see the, the pages of the book you're reading <laughs> and it's hard to like flip through it. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's by Margaret Atwood. Anyways, I'm really enjoying it. And then I'm about to go to my, I don't know, maybe my boyfriend's place or something. We're going to go look at cars. I'm in the market to buy a car before the end of this year, for sure. Before the end of 2022, I will buy a new car. I'm probably going to fix my bangs because I pulled them back so they don't look ridiculous, but I'm not really feeling them. I'm about to go to Kia, test drive some cars, see the BF, hopefully read more of Handmaid Handmaid's Tale. That's about it. I'm excited for this weekend. It's actually a beautiful day. <laughs> It just looks like the milk, which is 